My master, Sri Yukteswar, never stated that the medicines were useless, and yet trained their disciples in such a way that, having expanded their consciences when they sick, many of them employed the mental power exclusively to heal. The master stated, Wisdom is the supreme purifying therapy. There are individuals, both in the West and the East, who fanatically deny the existence of matter, even though they are dominated by consciousness, to the point of feeling faint when they are deprived of one of their usual foods. When we find ourselves in that state of fulfillment, in which body and mind, life and death, health and disease seem to us equally illusory phenomena, only then is we to say that we do not believe in the existence of matter. Through Maya and his conscience, man's ignorance with respect to his own soul, human consciousness is removed from cosmic consciousness. The human mind is subject to changes and limitations, but cosmic consciousness is free from every restriction and never committed to the experiences of duality. The experiences of life and death, health and disease, ephemeral pain and joys, etc., always reigns in the divine mind an unchanging perception of supreme happiness. The process of liberation of human consciousness develops through training through study statements, concentration, and meditation. This training teaches us how to retrain our attention from the vibrations of the rude body and the incessant fluctuations of thoughts and emotions, enabling us to perceive the most subtle and stable vibration of vital energy and the upper mental states. People endowed with intense material awareness, that is, those who often identify their being with the physical body, Knowledge of evolution, life, and dissolution lead to the complete emancipation of Maya's bandages or deception. In contemplating being in the Supreme Being, man conquers eternal freedom. Sutra 12 of the Sacred Science of Swami Sri Yukteswar. Some techniques of the statements. Sit facing north or east, use a straight back chair without support for the arms, which should be covered with a wool blanket. Haki and bulb, the posterior part of the neck except if the specific instructions indicate something else. Keep the back straight, the chest raised, the abdomen withdrawn, but relaxed. Inhale deeply, then exhaling and repeat it three times. Keeping immovable, dislodge all restless thoughts. You should not think of the type of cure you need. Remove all anxiety, all the lack of confidence, all concern and make awareness in a serene and confident way that the divine law acts effectively and is omnipotent. Do not allow doubt or distrust to take your mind. Faith and concentration allow the law to operate without any obstacle. The thought that all body states are subject to change and curable, and that the idea of Jean illness constitutes an illusion is printed on mind. The statements should be applied to awakening in the morning, or during the period of drowsiness before sleep at night. When group statements are practiced, meetings can be made at any time. On the place, as far as possible, a silent and quiet place should be chosen. If it is necessary to meet in a noisy place, the noise and devote full attention to the devoted practice of the statements. Before the statements begin, one should clean the mind of all restlessness and all concern. Choose the statement that is needed and repeated it completely, starting aloud and lowering the voice progressively, making repetitions slower and slower until it ends up in a murmur. Continue repeating the statement only mentally, without moving the lips or tongue until it reaches a deep and uninterrupted concentration. During this time, one should not fall into a state of numbness or drowsiness, but there must be a profound continuity of thought, flowing without interruption. Continuing with mental statement deepening more and more, a sense of growing peace and happiness will emerge. During the state of profound concentration, our mental statements submerge in the subconscious stream. To return later to the sphere of consciousness, reinforced with the power to influence the conscious mind through the law of habit. In the period of practice in which a growing peace is experienced, your statements come deeper and deeper penetrating in the kingdom of supercon sessions. From this kingdom, they return to consciousness, this time endowed with unlimited power to influence the conscious mind, to satisfy your desires. Do not carry any doubt, and it will be possible to prove the miracle of this scientific faith.
During the collectively practice statements to heal the physical or mental illnesses of some member of the group or others, take care that both the tone of voice and the mental strength, the concentration and the sense of faith and peace with which statements are repeated, all are equally uniform within the group. Weaker minds decrease the strength of collective statements and can even divert the flow of power from their destiny and superconstruction. Therefore, it is indispensable not to make any movement or allow the mind to be restless. To achieve success, if it requires the concentration of all group members, in collective statements, the group's leader should read the statements rhythmically, and the participants will repeat their words with the same rhythm and intonation.